Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? So we're in the Toxic Valley today and as you can see I have finally picked up the brick plans. Originally had thought to use the warehouse pieces here because I thought it was more in keeping with the part of the map. But to be honest did not like the way that looked, it just looked trashy and horrible so brick it is. So this is where we are today, so that's the camp just there, not far from the Palace of the Winding Path. Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. We're on the same hill here as Colonel Kelly Mon Monument, just down at the back of it there. Graft and steel there for you. If we zoom out a little bit, and you can see Vault 76 over here on the left, Morgantown. There we go. So, we've got this little rise here because we're on the back side of the hill. So, I wanted an upper level entrance to this place, so the front door effectively is not on the ground floor. It's a sort of thing that happens a lot in the area I grew up, so I thought it'd be a bit of fun. You get a, a lot of houses built on the downside of a hill there, so... The way this works, however, is we have to start with the bottom. So, I'm going to stick the foundations in first to get a line sorted out. It's a relatively simple build, but uh, just trying out the new pieces, getting the feel for it, and it works quite well. Got a little bit of character, so I like it. There's a slight problem there that uh, we didn't have things lined up properly, so I'll make a small adjustment. There we go, following the edge of the cliff, for want of a better word there, a little more accurately. The stairs have to go on first before the wall, with these pieces at the very least, with the brick build. Snap these foundations on. They're snapping to the top of the stairs here, rather than the wall, but it does work. A little bit of sticking through on the uh, part of the stone at the top of the cliff there, so we're going to make a small adjustment, lower it down a little bit, and there we go, just about the right height. So I'm going to have a little patio area up the top here, so we'll get a few changes, but uh, should be a, a nice entrance way. Stick the rest of the foundations in. A little uncooperative there. Staircase for some reason seems to be blocky. It's a bit hit and miss that. Sometimes it will go fine, sometimes it says no, but this was a no. See, the stairs won't go in with the wall there, so pull that out. Apparently, take the uh, foundation off first as well. But doesn't matter, whatever works. And there we go. Now we stick everything back in. Let's start with these walls. So I had a little trouble with this section here. And you can just about see from the bottom here that this tiny little fragment of uh, rock is sticking out ever so slightly over the edge of the foundation, and that's what's blocking the wall. So the whole thing has to be moved back about an inch or so, and now we can get the walls in. There we go. Stick these upper foundations back in, and move on to the walls on the inside. So there's going to be a wall on the top of these ones here, which meant that I had to position these in sort of preparation for that, which basically means we've got an external surface on the inside of the rooms. It was either that or the corridor, and it kind of works as an accent wall, so I don't mind too much. There's a couple of places we had issues I did object slightly to, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Slap some windows in. I'm going to change it, put some windows on the sides in time, but... We'll get to that later. So I wanted a kind of rooftop um, patio type thing. I was going to call it a balcony, but it doesn't really fit with that, as you'll see why in a moment. However, we need some railings on that, and those won't snap to walls or roof pieces. So we need to put floor pieces in first. Could have just left floor pieces in generally. That would have been fine, but I'm not quite sure why I didn't, actually. Hmm. Oh, well. These fences, however, won't snap on, this is the walls underneath, but the small ones will. These will snap straight to the floor pieces. Bear in mind, if you've got a wall at the base of the staircase there, then uh, you won't be able to position it, so you need plenty of room in order to do that. Either need to take a wall out or uh, position it somewhere where you've got an extra foundation to work with. Right, once this wants to play ball, snap that last fence piece, fence piece in, rather. And there we go. And I'll put the staircase back again. Have to take the wall off to do that. But I don't take the uh, foundation out first, anyway. 
There we go. Somehow managed to select that foundation right through the wall. Game yeah, has its weird moments. There we go. <laughs> so, let's take a couple of internal doors in. There's two different designs of doors on uh, the brick tabs, which is quite cool, or door frames. So uh, these wooden ones, and then there's a um, metal door frame in there, which is quite cool. So we're mixing and match, we're having the wooden ones on the inside and the metal ones for external doors. There we go, roof in. I'm going to put these upper walls on. Now you see why the uh, lower walls are the way around they are. This is just going to be a little roof over the top of the entranceway here. Make sure we've got room for a door and some clearance for your head. As you can see, we have a bit of an issue here. I can't get this wall piece, the doorway, to snap on the right way out. So I've taken everything out and put it on from the inside, but now I can't get the stairs to go back on. Basically because they will only snap to the outside of that wall. With the inside of it there, it won't play ball. So, we have another accent wall on the outside, and we're going to have to have the uh, white internal surface facing outward. But not perfect, but it'll do. And this end piece is also being uncooperative because it's got no wall underneath it. So it stairs out again. Quickly snap a wall in underneath. Could have used the wooden one effectively, it doesn't really matter, but we're building with bricks, a brick it is. Snap that one in. As you see, the stairs won't go in with the door at the bottom. So we'll take it off. And there we go. Fortunately, it didn't try and claim it was unsupported this time. So if we've got a very flat back edge, I thought we'd stick a little uh, balcony out here. Actually going to call this one a balcony. And it gives us access to what will be a little uh, food growing garden. That's going to be down here on the cliff edge. Or it will do in a moment anyway. So, a few railings on there. Going to use a different style just to mix it up a little bit more. So pull that one off the end. I was going to tuck a ramp on here, but as you can see, it's just a little too low down. Unless I put it on the front there, which is not where I wanted it. So, we'll switch over and put stairs on. There we go. Come on. There we go. A little bit of lag going on. Slap that last fence post in. And we have a balcony. Just breaks up the flat edge of the building a little more. So here, these foundation pieces were hanging off the edge of the rocks and basically floating, and you can't snap anything underneath. I think largely because there's too much blocking them, so move them over a little bit, we're going to have access to the roof from the other side of the door. For some reason it thinks I'm outside the buildable area here, even though I'm not. But just let that go, and do it again. There we go. So, we just need some stairs to get access here, just to tidy things off a little bit with. There we go. The wooden ones wouldn't snap to this, because it's too small a uh, distance, I guess, for want of a better word. But those stone ones went just fine. And there we have it, our basic structure. Let's have a look around the decorated product. Yeah, I've been on the lookout for Graham, because he usually sells those brick plans. Um, it's the easiest place to get them. So I've been looking for a couple of weeks, but you never find the guy when you want him. So uh, I just happened to be uh, running around off stream and collecting a few plans from various workshops around the map. And he just ambled on by, so I was quite happy about that. Went from having just over 2,000 caps to having nearly none. Very, very quickly buying plans off him. So keep an eye out for him, make sure you've got a few caps ready for it, because the opportunities don't come around every so every five minutes. There we go, that's our little roof terrace. I wanted something out on the front patio here, so that's why the second cooking station is there. There's our little doorway, front door. Unfortunately, these doorways are a little bit iffy. The uh, doors don't quite snap in snugly. Unfortunately, something's been going on since the game first came out. Hopefully Bethesda will get around to fixing that in time. I'll take a look over on the right. See I have a few more decoration items now, so the place is looking a little bit more homey. Quite happy about it. Yeah. As far as wasteland living goes, this is pretty darn comfortable. That sofa is actually not a sofa at all, it's three chairs just pushed together, so I'm still limited on my soft furnishing option. But uh, we've got a few bits and pieces now, so at least that's a start. A little crafting room. I went for a much cleaner, more clinical light in here with the fluorescent lights and things to make it uh, 
a safer workspace. A few stash boxes on the shelves on the table there. Everything you could need. Like a little bit more to go on the walls and stuff. Not a bad start. I'd imagine I'll be picking up flaction, flaction, flaction flags as I go along. <laughs> but, uh, I look forward to doing that. And out onto the balcony. Not a bad view, considering we're in the Toxic Valley. Decided to use the wind turbine just to mix things up a little bit there. Pick up the various plans for generators in by completing the events at power station. Relatively simple, and it gives you an hour to do it, so it's not too bad. Yeah, our little uh, kitchen garden on the cliff edge there. All the essentials. Some meat fruit. Don't really use too much, but uh, gives us a little bit more texture and dimension to it. Uh, water producing paraphernalia on the right. You can see that door sticking out in a hideous fashion. It would be a little tighter a fit if it was opening inward, but it's still not perfect, so it is what it is. So we'll head up top, have a quick look around again, and we'll take a look at it in the night time. Yeah, not a bad build. Didn't take too long once I figured out what I wanted to do with it. Got to look down in the bottom corner there. Just about to see the porter cabin. <laughs> Got to go and take a look at. We do have bathroom facilities available. So yeah, I've said on stream a couple of times recently that since they've um, pushed the brightness up uh, for night times, the lighting is less effective. It's much easier to see but, and. It's not such a bad thing for play, or general play, but uh, in terms of its visuals, it's a little overdone. Unfortunately, we've got the smoke from the little fireplace coming through the floor there, or the ceiling, whichever way you want to look at. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. I do absolutely love these brick textures, though. They're really organic looking, as well as being much more solid. And they're new, which is always a good thing. New, relatively speaking, to this game, anyway. Couple of posters on the way in, needed something to give the entrance away a little bit of character. Picked up a few doormats now. Like a few more rugs available, but have a little look around the bedroom. Those lights there are on the ceiling are atom shop items. They were Christmas limited time offers so to they came in multiple colours and in the white versions, and you can set them to twinkle or whatever. But uh, I've just gone with a flat white light. Just something a little different to the basics, which I'm looking forward to expanding on. There we go, so plenty of light in here to uh, work in the evening if you need to. I did want to have my power armour on the stand on display, but of course it jumps straight back to your inventory. That was a bit of a no-go. <laughs> Take a quick look around the outside, see how this place looks to, from below in the evening. The door cooperates. <laughs> Gone for my usual lots of potted plants around because it gives a splash of colour and a little bit more decoration. It's a dead easy way of bringing the place to life a little bit more. Especially while my options are a little limited. Yeah, pretty happy with that for a, a relatively quick and easy build. Everything you need, reasonably cosy. I'm not too happy about the fact that the foundations are so high. It was sort of a necessity of the build, but it does have the slight issue that um, the contrast is between the foundation style and the brick walls is a bit too extreme for my personal liking, but it's only really visible around that left-hand end, so it's not too bad, I suppose. Especially now I've got the balcony on the front here. And there we go! <laughs> so I do hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. If you did like the video, you know what to do by now. Social media links as always down in the description. And if you haven't already, just stop by and catch us on one of the streams. We have a lot of chilled out fun. For now, thank you very much. And I will be speaking to you all very, very soon.